Well, Roots, a uh, bit of a tough outing there. What are some of your immediate reflections after that? Oh, I thought it was a game of two halves, really. Um, you, you can't give a team like that a two-goal lead at half time away from home. Much better in the, in the second half. I thought we were really flat in that first half, um, but much better. Made some changes and um, should have got something out of it. What did you make of really the flatness in the first half? Was it personnel? Was it just energy? What, what, what did you put that down to? All of that, yeah. I just thought we were flat. And, um, you know, I did keep the majority of the players on that started um, the last game. Yeah, it was just flat. Given the personnel and the circumstances as to how, the, how there was a disparity between the first and second half, I guess the predominant question with respect to you going forward is what do you want this team to be, essentially? Yeah, what I want it to be and, and what we are right now are two, two completely different questions. I've only been here three and a half weeks and you know, we've had a lot of games and I'm still analysing and assessing everybody, but our style of play is, and what I said is, you know, we want to play direct, we want to play a control type of football and we want to you know, stop the opposition from playing, you know, particularly in those transition moments. And, and I thought that was much better. You know, what I want us to be was what we saw in the second half. Well, uh, Rami and Stephen in particular, they were two of the guys who really gave you a lot more energy in the second half. Uh, just some uh, comments on their performances today. Yeah, they were good. Like I said, we needed to do something. I certainly need to do something. Um, and they were good, but we moved the ball a lot quicker. We broke their lines a lot quicker. Um, we knew that the whole game plan was to try and move their front two around and, and break that first line. But like I said, it was just two, two moments that we've worked on and that shouldn't have happened because they know what their roles were. And um, you know, two two individual errors, you know, cost us playing an offside trap when there's no pressure on the ball is suicidal, um, and we talk about about that as well. So you know, again, it's we need to keep improving, need to keep working at it, um, but much better in the second half because we moved the ball around, moved it quicker, we broke lines quicker as well, and like I said, uh, a lot more energy. The game did teeter for significant portions of that second half, um, but. Looking at the defensive end, what were your thoughts on uh, Philip Chanchat's performance? He's come into a bit of uh, look, into a bit of scope, increased under you. Uh, it's it, look, you know, Philip's still a very young kid and, and learning his trade, and you know, there are again moments that he needs to be exposed um, to these kind of games in order for him to make those mistakes and, and learn from them and, and get better. Uh, but like I said, uh, in particular, those goals they're all they're all easily uh, defendable and worked on. And, you can't, like I said, lose concentration against a, a quality opposition like that. Well, we've seen Jack Robwell play a number, number of positions this season. You trialled him at centre back in the first half today. I guess what was the sort of thinking behind that one? Um, he he actually played a lot of his footballs as a centre half, um, and having a chat to him, it's where he feels comfortable or in the middle of the park as a holding midfielder. So yeah, he's very good in the ball, and and like I said, what important part of our our um, our strategy and plan was to break through their first line because things do open up and you're able to, um, you know, break them. But we just, like I said, we, we did that, but we had nothing other after that, and that was disappointing. Through fl flatness or lack of energy, players weren't making those forward runs or the opposite runs that I like um, that we would be working on. And so it was quite a simple, easy decision to to make changes in the second half. Any fitness concerns or injuries to come out of tonight? Well, Jack went off, so he's. We have to assess him. Uh, I think he's he could have a hammy, um, but it's still too early. I haven't even checked with the medical staff post game yet. In terms of the rest of the season, what's kind of your plan going forward? Like, what kind of identity do you want to build for this side? So, hopefully, potentially carry on into next season. Yeah, similar to the question that I was asked earlier, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to see who, which players can play the kind of football that I like to play, which is, you know, an aggressive, dynamic, you know, uh, uh, style of play. And that's with, with, with them without the ball, you know, controlling teams, but you need the personnel uh, to, to, to be able to, to press, particularly in the counter press. You know, we, we, we're still not there. There's a lot of behaviours and habits uh, in this team that's going to take a long you know, bit of time to, to get out um, of their system. And, and that's my responsibility as a coach to just keep working with each individual and, and, and improving each individual. 
Well, we just last one from me. I mean, coming back to Melbourne for the first time as a coach, obviously, you know, two years at Western United, I guess, how was the occasion for yourself? Was it, you know, emotional? How did you feel for yourself? Coming back? Oh, I'm not that kind of guy, you know. I don't get caught up in, in that kind of thing. The, the sentimental stuff has never really bothered me. It was, you know, at the end of the day, I've got a, I've got a job to do and my job now is, is to is to improve this Western Sydney Wanderers side. And, um, you know, I had a great time personally in Melbourne and, you know, really loved, loved the city. It was good to be back at Amy Park and, and see some familiar surroundings. But other than that, it was just work as usual and business as usual for myself. So.